Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the Big Larry Show. Phew. I'm not feeling good this morning, so I'm not going to do too long of a show. I still got to make phone calls today. Court tomorrow morning about this time. In 24 hours, I'll be on my way to the courtroom. Figured I'd get down here and say good morning to everybody. No, not really. Not nervous, just wondering how many days she's going to give me. It ain't like I'm going to court to be sentenced or anything. All they're going to do is tell me how many days I got left to get out of here. And everybody's ready, so... Got my workers ready, just waiting for me to call them. I got my storage units already ready. I did call about a house yesterday, and um, I'm going to look at it tomorrow as soon as I get out of court. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm going to go see one tomorrow right after court. The only problem about it, it is a two-bedroom. He says it's kind of ran down a little bit. And I kind of asked him what the light bills ran. He said about two, two fifty in the winter. So we're going to go over and see what it looks like if we're not interested. I mean, I also got a, another friend that says he's got a one bedroom. It's like the kitchen, living rooms together, a bathroom, a small laundry room. And one bedroom. If it comes to the nitty gritty. I do have two barns and a big old garage waiting for my stuff when it goes down. So I pretty well got everything lined up. I wish I could find the house and make sure we get a place. And just take everything to that place. But if not, these barns and garages are ready. Yeah, it's better than nothing for now. It's like I told him, you know, if I rent it, I ain't renting it for 10 years. I'm renting it until I find something bigger, bigger and better. I've got it. I've been awake, people. I just wasn't feeling good. I didn't know if I was going to go live this morning or not. A lot of coughing and gagging. Waking up with the head code. There's no way you can make a deal with Stinky until you find the right place. Stinky and me are not going to deal with each other. He's scared of me, remember? Yes, there is sugar and cream in my mud. Yeah, I agree. Well, I'm going to complain about that if that happens. Yeah, I think it. I think they got it backwards. I think I should be the one to go live on the screen, and he should have to be in person. I'm the handicapped one. I'm the one running around here in a wheelchair. That would be a good reason to be doing that. I 
Eh, she ain't going to care about that cartel. Now I'm just going to be tell, laying out the proven facts about everything. You know, this is not the first time I went in front of this judge. She knows what the situations are. She's been around. She's the one that gave me the power of attorney. Well, I don't want to get laughed at and throw it out of court, cartel. And she tells me to be out today. I don't want to get her on her bad side. That's one thing you do not want to do is piss off the judge. I see the sunlight's coming in that window. No, we had them the night before. I gotta get my some meds out, people. Trying to clean my nose out. Yeah, it would have cost me too much money to drive it down to the Florida Keys. It's better just to load up a U-Haul and take the U-Haul to the Florida and go. This place is falling apart, so I wouldn't want to. I'd be afraid to take it down the road. And the, another thing, Trailblazer wouldn't pull it. You literally need almost a semi to pull this. Or any trailer. And you know, when you're pulling something this big, you got to get two, uh, what do they call them, flaggers, where one's behind you and one's in front of you clear in the area for you can get through. I know my mountain mama and her husband just went through it. They just got another trailer and they're pulling it towards their land right now.
No, like I said, I'm I'm ready to move, but I want to get out of this dump. The quicker I'm out of here, the quicker he's going to lose it, the quicker it's up for sale, and the quicker he's going to be out of money living under a bridge. So, you got to take one step at a time, and that is one step. He has to get us out of here. Well, I do too, raccoon man. But with the kind of money I got coming in, I ain't going to get too too nice. I'm just going to get something that's livable. You know, there is a reason Ann Alice moved me into this house, people. And that is to keep everybody from trashing it, destroying it, crackheading it, burning it down. And once I walk out of this house and I'm gone out of here, that whatever happens, this house happens. Because Vaughn's not going to drive back here. He's not going to pay nobody to come in here and fix it. He's going to put a for rent sign in the newspaper and people are going to come out here and look at it and the neighbors are going to come on over and tell them about it and they literally are leaving they won't rent it unless they're in a dire emergency just like i was i wasn't in a dire emergency to take this place but I mean, like I am right now, I'm looking for a place. Dire emergencies. Yeah, I wish I could, cartel. At least one thing, I know I'd be able to take care of the property. I know I'd get the houses livable where I can rent them out and have that income coming in every month. No, I will not, four acres. There's no, there ain't any, no second question about that. No way. I wasn't giving 400 a month for this place. It ain't worth it. Especially when my light bills run six fifty in November and December. Nobody's going to be able to afford it. Winter's going to come around and the heat's going to go off. The water pipes are going to freeze and then Vaughn's going to be fucked again. Because then he's going to have to get a real plumber out here. Vaughn thinks it's easy to take care of houses and to rent them out. All the power to you, Vaughn Hilton. You're going to be just like half of the other world. You're going to be a fucking slumlord. I don't care if he's watching. Good morning, Jeffrey. Morning, Cooper. Yes, it is. Like I said, people, I'm not going to be on here long. I had a few things I got to do this morning. I do have court in the morning, so I'm going to make a few phone calls on some properties today and see what I can find out. Larry, do you have any video evidence to show the judge in order? I don't kind of understand what you mean there. Video of what, Jeffrey?
Thank you, not sure. He's going to be broke before summer. Yeah, he's already broke. And he's got three places, that, four places that need work done. So with them all needing work, he ain't going to be able to rent them. Unless he tells the renters, yeah, you fix them up, you can live in them. But I'm not paying you for fixing them up. I'm not giving you the money for the parts. You spend your own money to fix it. Then I'll let you live there for 400 a month. People are going to laugh at him and turn around and go somewhere else. He ain't getting no money from me, period. Yeah, exactly. He spent all that money in a record time. Me, I would have been scraping and scrounging with it. <clears throat> I'd be spending only what I have to. I mean, come on, people. We're talking about back in, what, 2020? They gave us stimulus checks. Did any of y'all get any of them? Me and my wife got a couple of them. That's the only one he's going to run them to are the meth cookers. And within a month, the places will be totally burnt out. I don't know, four acres. <clears throat> yeah, you see about them all over the place around here. They just had one a couple weeks ago. I don't know, stay frosty. No idea. I might bring that to the judge's attention tomorrow. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah, the place I am would be a perfect spot for it. You got one neighbor out front, no neighbors behind you. All wooded area. Oh, they, we're, we're still going to talk about them. With or without a lawyer. Yeah. 
You know, it's not my fault the landlord did not come to collect the rent. Hell, I didn't even know who the landlord was. Hell, he probably ain't going to meet the people at the houses. He'll send them to his house and send them over here by themselves. Because uh, my neighbors would like a piece of him. Wife went and got some more boxes and stuff yesterday, so we're packing some more stuff up. Oh, I won't, Frosty. That's the only kind of family Von Hilton can have is on the computer. Because you don't have to feed them. You don't have to bath them. You don't have to pay their bills. He don't have to buy them clothing. That's the only kind of family he can have. And he probably don't treat them right neither. He's probably got his pregnant wife still wearing the same clothes she wore when she first got pregnant. Probably the same clothes as when he first met her. You know, he don't change clothes, so why would he want his wife to change clothes? Yeah, they are. They, his socks are definitely crazy. It's going, Dragon Jim. Yeah, I believe that, Cartel. Honey, are you watching TV? No. Okay. I just shut it down. I did get that list yesterday. I've been going down it and calling people on that. That's where I ended up getting that guy's number. That's got that two bedroom. Don't forget the kid coming. His pregnant wife. Probably. Probably, cartel. Yeah, I wouldn't go like that, Frosty. I'd wait till I got back home.
after court tomorrow, we're going to go look at that trailer, and then we're going to go over to get me a brand spanking new battery for the trailblazer, and get it in it, and get that trailblazer moving. I might even have to junk my dad's truck. You know, it's only been sitting out there three years. So, I, I doubt if it's even any good anymore. I don't even know if the engine will turn over. So, I might end up junking that. My Trailblazers are 2003. It is a four. A 97 Ford 150. It was my dad's, and when he passed on, it was all inherited by me. I got his truck and his fishing equipment, and my wife got the dog. Oh, I did guarantee that, Frosty. I can guarantee you that. Up under the engine and all. They didn't get inside. If they did, they'd crawl through them vents. And if I remember, I closed them vents before we parked it there. I mean, I was driving it and I parked it and bought that trailblazer. Because I wanted something easier to drive. Something more comfortable for the whole family. And people was offered to buy it from me a couple years back. But I kept telling them, no, no, no. I'll just grow tomatoes in the back of it. Yes, I am. Yes, it was running when I parked it three years ago. Yeah, I agree. Oh, yeah, he's been everything, so he's probably been a judge, too. Yeah, go to Jerry Springer. Or Mr. Phil, Dr. Phil. Okay, okay. I'm glad to tell you told me that, Jim. So I should throw a live battery in it and see if I can get it to fire. Because if it fires up, I get more than I get for junk. If I junk it, it's like a hundred, hundred and a quarter. If I can fire it up, it's worth five hundred bucks. Yeah, and fresh gas. Yeah, that's another thing I'm at to do.
Thank you, Tom. Yeah. Now I got to put a battery in it first, Nick. Got to put a live battery in it. And it's not hard to find that stuff around here. We hear about all kinds of people doing it around here. Hell, it's even on the main TV set. Oh, I don't know. I I don't watch them kind of shows. Well, pay attention to the road there, Rollin. That road's definitely more important than me. I don't want someone wrecking listening to my voice. Yeah, I was up pretty late last night. I watched wrestling, and one of the girls that usually does live palette shows, I was watching her last night, trying to see if there's anything that she had up there for sale that I would need or want. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, it would be, Andy. Yeah, 901. About time to start making my phone calls again, people. I still got a half of a list to go through. Figured I'd try to get through that list today because tomorrow's the court date. That way I got an idea of what I'm going to do. We're going to call for the trucks and trailers to come over here and start unloading everything and putting it in the barns. Or do I got a house it's going to? So I'm going to literally get off here, people, start my phone calls. Like I said, I wasn't going to be on here long. I just want to say good morning, make sure everyone knows I'm up, I'm alive, I'm doing okay, but I got uh, like 15 people to call today. So I need to get to it early this morning, and I don't want to wait too late. I'm not a Vaughn Hilton. I don't wait to the last minute. I like to get things done. And I appreciate all your guys' good luck to me. Just pray for us that we find something or everything works out. No matter if ands and buts, I will definitely be live on Thursday or Wednesday when I get home from court. I appreciate each and every one of you. Peace out to all.